Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all to the Tumbal School of Basic and Applied Sciences. I would like to welcome you for the fourth semester classes, that to the botany classes. I hope you are all safe at your uh, respective homes, and uh, I suggest you please be in home. Please be at your home. Don't go outside for uh, silly reasons, and uh, try to follow the protocols given by the government for uh, COVID-19. And uh, here, in this pandemic, we are having only the ultimate option, that is the learning through online platform. So, here today onwards, we will uh, start learning about uh, the botany classes. Here, in our fourth semester, we have four or five major units. Okay, each unit is not that new to you. Already, you have learned all of them in your uh, lower classes and uh, PU classes. Here, we have uh, five major units and uh, each unit has some concepts to learn and in that we should study in depth in lower classes we learned only superficial things okay when we say for example unit 1 morphology of flowering plants we have learned in a first puc we have learned that topic in first puc under morphology of flowering plants but there we learned only superficial things but here we will learn this topic in a detail this topic in a detail okay so under morphology of angiosperms for a seven years angiosperms are flowering plants okay here we are studying about the structure function and the modification of plant parts flowering plant parts mainly the root stem and leaf okay the normal structure of root stem and leaf and the functions of root stem and leaf and the modifications of those root stem and leaves okay here modification means whenever the plant part has normal structure it perform normal functions but uh, when it has got modified it performs additional functions it performs uh, additional functions so to perform that extra function additional function the plant has to get modified mainly under uh, unfavorable conditions the root stem or the leaves get uh, modified so we'll study that uh, modifications in uh, the first unit also we study about the types of inflorescences in this uh, morphology part uh, we study about uh, types of uh, inflorescences lastly we study about flower and fruits flower mainly the parts of the flower four worlds of the flower like calyx, corolla, andresium, gynesium and uh, coming to the modifications we will study different uh, types of astivation, different type of pla as placentation in the flower and lastly we study about the fruits and their types okay we have seen many types of fruits in PUC we learnt only simple two types simple fruits compound fruits or true fruits or false fruits but here we study many types of fruits in a different angiospermic plants okay that's all about the angiosperm morphology that is for our seven hours not exactly seven hours we'll study in a more detail right coming to the second unit that is the angiosperm systematics angiosperm Systematics. The term systematics refers to the taxonomy. Taxonomy means uh, we should identify the plant. We should uh, give some name to the plant. That is nomenclature. And then classify. Those are the steps of taxonomy. Identification, nomenclature and classification. Along with that, we study different systems of classification. Like uh, Bentham and Hooker system, uh, natural system like a uh, Bentham and Hooker system is a natural system and phylogenetic as a uh, angular and parental system and uh, some details about APG system and lastly we study about types of taxonomy like uh, cytotaxonomy, numerical taxonomy or chemotaxonomy 
So different types of taxonomy will be discussed under this unit that is for about 10 hours in our syllabus. Okay, that may take more than 12-15, we will see later on. Coming to third unit, diversity of flowering plants. Diversity means we should study different families. In PU we studied only three families, I hope you remember. One is Fabaceae, one is Solanaceae, one is Liliaceae. But here we will be studying about 25 different families. We will be studying about 25 different families. About 20 to 22 families of dicot, some 3 to 4 families of monocot. Totally, we will be studying about 25 families of angiosperms in this chapter, in this unit. Right. Coming to the fourth unit, economic botany. Economic botany. Economic refers to something commercially, something beneficial, something profitable. Means beneficial applications of plants to the human beings. Whatever the benefits we are getting from the plants, whatever the profits we are getting from the plant, either benefit or profit. Okay. So benefit may be direct or indirect. Profit may be direct or indirect. Under this, we are studying about different type of food plants. You all know jowar, wheat, rice, etc. We are consuming as a food. And different oil plants like a groundnut, sunflower, etc. And different plants for a fiber, jute, etc. And paper. As we are studying, writing, reading, the books, everything is made up of plants. So, some plants are used in a manufacture of the paper. And uh, of course, without spices, we can't survive. We, our uh, taste buds, our tongue will not be satisfied. So, we need spices in our food. So, we will study about uh, different uh, spices and condiments. And lastly, we study about uh, rubber plants like hevia. So, whatever the economically important plants are there, we study about those plants, their scientific name, their family and how that product is extracted from that plant and what are the uses of that product. Under the economic botany, economic which is commercially, financially benefited to the human beings. Right. And in the last unit, we will study about medicinal botany. Medicinal means something used to treat some diseases, one plant, any plant part, maybe root is used as medicine, maybe stem is used as medicine, maybe leaves are used as medicine. So any part of the plant which is used as a medicine, which is used to treat some diseases, to cure some diseases. That is what we call it by name of medicinal plant or medicinal botany. Here we have some six to seven medicinal plants, 6 to 7 medicinal plants, right, this is all about our syllabus, before that, I request you to write the complete syllabus in your book, I just to show you, take your paper or a book, write your complete syllabus like this, then it is easy for you to go through the syllabus, what are the points, what are the points to be covered, what are the concepts to be discussed under your syllabus? Everything, every semester, you make a practice that before starting anything in that book, for example, if you have taken one book for a fourth semester botany, in that book, the first phase should contain the complete syllabus of that subject. Okay, so in the first phase of this book, whatever you are writing now, that should contain the complete syllabus. You need one morphology of angiosperms and what you are supposed to discuss under that concept. Next, unit 2 angiosperm systematics and what are the concepts to be discussed under that unit. Like that, you make a practice of writing complete syllabus. Okay, hope uh, you have got that PDF. Okay, or else I will suggest the sir to send you that PDF. So, go through the syllabus and write it and uh, from next video onwards, we will uh, study the first unit uh, that is a morphology of uh, angiosperms. Okay, maybe we will try to go through the PPT. 
it's not possible to do with a board it's easier to learn with a ppt from next class onwards we'll see okay till that keep learning okay be safe stay home stay safe okay thank you one and all jai hind